Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. This is Pinky. And um, I have an update on a story I've been covering uh, for a while now. Uh, this would be my fourth update on this story. So um, <sighs> we're still praying. Uh, Taylor Casey's story, um, the young lady from Chicago that is missing in the Bahamas. But let me just go ahead and say everything is alleged. This is my opinion, my opinion only. And this video is made for educational and entertainment purposes only. And everything on my channel is covered under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Thank you uh, for letting me get that out. And then I do, if you all can, go, go ahead and hit the like button so we can get that out of the way. Go ahead and hit the like button. And then while you're hitting the like button on Pinky the Housewife, can you go ahead and hit the button on my second channel, Pink Global. This channel only been up for one month. So if you can hit the uh, like button on Pinky the Housewife and then go over to my second channel, Pink Global, and hit the, uh, uh, the like button. And then don't forget to subscribe on both channels if you can. Uh, that's the only way to uh, keep up with my videos anytime I post anything or go live. So if you can go ahead and do those two things for me, I will appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, we do have some updates on the, uh, Taylor Casey. This is Ta uh, Taylor Casey. She's been missing for a while now, ever since the uh, 19, uh, June 19th, she's been missing. The, that was the last known that's June 19th is when the last time somebody seen her. June 20th uh, is when they reported her missing, but she's been missing ever since the 19th, the day before, okay? On the 20th, that's when the uh, retreat organizers and the people at the retreat noticed she missed all of her classes. She haven't been there. Nobody has seen her. That's when they reported her missing. Okay, now... Uh, so what we have right now uh, for Taylor Casey, we have the updates. Her family now is saying that they're needing to call on the FBI to help with the search for her daughter, Taylor Casey. Okay. So uh, I know I saw the video from the last from the last video uh, live I did or the video that I did, and it seems like. The authorities there, the authorities for the uh, Royal Bahamas Police Force, they're not too excited to be looking. They're not too, oh, I don't know, engaged, or they don't seem like they too bothered by this young lady's missing. Okay? That's the way I got it. I don't know. But they... <sighs> Excuse me, guys. I'm sleeping. Um, but her tent, they did search her tent. And they showed her, you know, what tent. And that's the tent. She was not sleeping in a hotel. She not. She was not sleeping in a bungalow um, or anything. She was sleeping in a little bit of tent. You see that little tent right there? That's what she was sleeping in. And... And my understanding is those tents go for $80, $80 a piece, $80. Let me see, can I uh, pull that back up? I had it up once looking at it. Uh, tell you what we're gonna do. Let me go ahead and play this first. And then while this is playing, I'm gonna try to look up the information on those tents, that, that little tent. Mm -mm. Uh, and I don't blame her parents, her mother, and a friend that, you know, was her mother and a friend that went down last week, right? I don't blame them. I'll be calling in somebody else, too, because it don't seem like the Bahamas authorities, or they don't seem bothered by anything. No. I showed that video to y'all last time, uh, how they wasn't too bothered. I'm going to have to pull that video to you. 
But let's go ahead and go over this. This is uh, from uh, ABC 6 News, okay? By ABC, they got six up here, but then they got ABC 7 Chicago Digital Team. Okay, well, Digital Team. Uh, this is the new photos released in the search for missing Chicago woman, Taylor Casey. This was uh, done July the 7th. So July, I mean, yeah, July the 4th. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I told you I'm sleeping in today. So that was on um, Thursday, 4th of July, and today is Sunday. I told you all I'm sleepy. And when I say I'm sleepy, I'm actually sleepy. So after this, I'm going to take go and take myself a nap. That's what I'm going to have to do. Okay. Photos show the tent where a Chicago woman was staying before she disappeared in the Bahamas. Inside of the tent, you see clothes, books, and other items belonging to Taylor Casey. She was in the Bahamas for a yoga retreat and was reported missing June 20th. Her mother is asking for the U.S. government to get involved in the case. I don't want to see him. Let me see whether they're going to uh, pick it back up after this little short video. I don't know, but we're, we're going to find out. Okay. I don't know. They got video after video playing. But you all saw the little portion uh, where they showed her uh, tent. Uh, what's inside of her tent, like q-tips a book um I, I actually got the clothes that was inside of the tent let me just see can i pull them up oh. i'm sorry guys i am so sleepy i don't know what to do with myself let me see oh here are some of the pictures let me just uh get them brought in Here's one picture. Oh, and let me uh, bring in. You see, that's one of the pictures. Okay, let me see. Can I find the other picture? Hmm. Okay, let me see. I had some other pictures of her belongings. I think uh, this is it. Okay. Let me uh, see, guys. Yeah, here's some of her belongings inside the tent. You see there's a, a plastic white bag, some clothes, look like shirts or something, hanging up, and then some stuff on the floor. And then you see in this other picture, um, you see Q-tips, you see a picture, you see a book uh, and some other stuff uh, on the floor of the tent. I, I think they said her passport have not been uh, found, her passport. No passport has been found at this time. Uh, let me just do one other thing. Okay. And let me just go ahead and read uh, what they said. It says, new, uh, new photos revealed. Uh, this is Chicago. New photos revealed on Thursday shows where a Chicago woman was stand before she disappeared in the Bahamas. Taylor Casey was last seen June 19th at a yoga retreat on Paradise Island. A uh, family of American women missing from the Bahamas yoga retreat speaks out. The new photo shows clothes, books, and other items inside Casey's tent. Casey's mother traveled to the uh, retreat last week but said her visit was deeply unsettled. 
Authorities find cell phone a missing Chicago woman who disappeared after the yoga retreat in the Bahamas. And let me just tell you how they found that cell phone. They didn't go out and find it on their own. It was a family member back in the States that found that phone. She uh, was able, I, you know, I forgot what you call it, where you can locate. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. I'm sorry, guys. Where you can locate a uh, phone. Uh, so that's how she was able to locate it. And then she pinpointed it and had the uh, authorities to go and they uh, retrieved the phone from the water, out of the water. Uh, I just felt like they didn't care. They didn't care at all, Seymour said. Now the family is calling on the FBI to step in, saying without their support, they may never know what happened to her because they don't act like they, they worried or, 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 or anything to me. They don't act like they're worried about anything or some concern. And let me show you a picture of her mother. This is uh, her mother in the pink shirt and that's one of her best friends in the yellow dress. Yeah. And, um, it says the, uh, the, the family of a Chicago woman missing in the Bahamas is now pleading for more support from the U.S. government. Uh, Taylor Case's 41 was last seen, like I said, on June 19th while attending a yoga retreat on the Paradise Island. And uh, a young woman called me and said, have you heard from Taylor? And I am like, I'm looking at the phone because I know this. She was from the yoga retreat and then said, and then she said, Taylor hasn't been, Taylor hasn't shown up for yoga classes. We called Casey's mom, uh, Colette Seymour. Seymour, I traveled to the retreat last week and now says, oh, wait, let me, uh, I think this, Let me uh, let you all hear this. I didn't know the video was going to come up. You know how sometimes videos don't show up uh, when they're supposed to, and they uh, you got it spinning and spinning, and it finally just popped up. So uh, let me just go ahead and show it right quick. Okay, here it is. The family of a Chicago woman missing in the Bahamas is now pleading for more support from the U.S. government. 41-year-old Taylor Casey was last seen June 19th while attending a yoga retreat on Paradise Island. A young lady called me and said, have you heard from Taylor? And I'm like, I'm looking at the phone because I know this. she was from the yoga retreat. And then she said, Taylor hasn't showed up for yoga classes. Casey's mother traveled to the retreat last week and now says her visit was deeply unsettling. She says she had to beg to talk to students at the retreat and says it felt like the students were told what to say and what not to say. And Seymour says she saw no missing persons posters. Despite authorities saying they've spoken to a number of people and deployed drones, divers, and a canine unit, Seymour says, I felt like the police did the bare minimum. Without U.S. government support, we may never find out what happened to my tailor. Police were able to find Casey's cell phone in the ocean last week, but the family says authorities refused to turn over the phone. We need Taylor in our lives. We miss Taylor. We need Taylor home. That's the bottom line. Please. The family says Taylor would never just take off without telling them. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. Okay, guys. I'm glad I was able uh, to show that, uh, that it came up just in time. I'm glad it, uh, it was able to, to show it. Hmm. Now it says, I don't uh, understand. It says the police request people at the yoga retreat for statements regarding Taylor, Ta uh, Taylor, but would not specify whether any was interrogated. 
Why not? The police reported reportedly refused to inform the family's team how many statements they have collected in the names of those participants. Don't seem like they're doing much. Don't seem like they're doing much at all. According to uh, Ram Soskin, the, um, the lead manager of the Savannah Ashram Yoga Retreat, the Monday before Katie Casey's uh, disappearance, an unidentified man with a walkie-talkie was seen walking the same platform where Taylor Tent was located. Hmm, that's, I wonder, hmm, that's strange. They better look into it. One of the retreat's participants uh, who the uh, fine, participant who the fine Taylor Casey team spoke to said that Casey was approached while sitting along at the beach by a stranger the same day she was last seen. Now, why didn't this come out two weeks ago? Why didn't this come out on the day she was reported missing on the 20th? Because she'd been missing since the 19th. Why didn't it come out then? Why? They got to beg them to get information. The man was wearing a, a sex, sir, sir, uh, septics uh, ball cap, baseball cap, and a and a dress and dressed in all black. He claimed he was from Chicago and was interested in taking a yoga class. He proceeded to follow her onto the property, according to the website created to help find Taylor Casey. Now this family coming up. I did. Two weeks ago, when this woman was first missing, nobody ever said anything like that. Now they're reporting this. Now somebody just talking about it. That's the case. The person could have been gone by now. Now they want to uh, talk more about it. They are holding too much information for me. This is some of the stuff that was found in her tent. And here's a picture of that tent uh, on the uh, cover right there. You see what that purple arrow is pointing? That's the tent. There's no way I'm going to pay $80 uh, a day to be sleeping in a tent. Sleeping in a tent. Where's my bathroom? I'm not going to go to a retreat. Put me somewhere where I'm going to have a bed. If I'm going to go to a retreat, put me on a bed. I need a bed. I need a bed. Okay. I need a bathroom in that in that room uh, or a bathroom that's connected with nobody. What people, well, I have it to myself. I don't want to be sharing a bathroom with hundreds of other people I don't even know. Uh, no. Oh, my God. This is sad. Now, guys, like I said before, if you all have any information on the whereabouts of Casey, Taylor Casey, please contact. I was, you're supposed to contact the Royal Bahamas Police Force, right? Seem like they're not interested, in my opinion. You may want to contact somebody that you may think would want to know that information. I'm just saying if it was me, I'll contact the family. I'll contact her mother, her best friend, her sister, whoever. I would contact the FBI. Now, y'all can do what you want to do or missing persons. Uh, y'all can do what you want to do. I'm not saying don't contact the uh, Bahamas police. To, uh, I'm just saying in mind but what I would do because it don't seem like they they – they taking this seriously enough. And then they trying to hold information from the family, from her own mother. How are you going to do that when you got an American that comes to, to your island, patronize your island, and then when they go missing, you don't have up no missing photos, no missing posters, no nothing. Nobody knew in the very beginning that she was missing. 
until people start finding out about it that wasn't from the island, and then they started leaving. Oh, y'all, it's all about the money for y'all. A life doesn't mean anything. Okay, guys. Let me just put up her picture once again so y'all can see. Uh, this is Taylor. Taylor Cass Casey. And we need to bring her home. We need to bring her home. She's been missing for too many days now without any answers. Okay? They need to do something. They need to do something and bring this young lady home to her family. Because certain people may know something, but they ain't telling. Because then it took too long to talk about that man that was hanging around. It was too long to talk about that man in the baseball cap. Yeah, dressed in all black. And I'm just saying, it was too long to talk about it. Okay? But I'm not going to hold you all. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. And if you have any information, please, please go ahead and contact the family. Uh, go ahead and contact them. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.